Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I am playing Wounded, a first person horror game that I actually played the Kickstarter demo to, I think back in 2016. And as I recall, I had quite a lot of fun with it. I thought it was a pretty good game, pretty scary, uh, maybe a little bit rough around the edges, but the game seems to have come along in leaps and bounds since then, so I'm eager to give it a second try. So yeah, the full game's out now. If you're interested about getting this for yourself, look down below in the description. All the details, all the links will be down there, all right? Really do hope you enjoy it. If you do, send me some support, really helps me out. But yeah, let's play Wounded. Right, so WASD, yep, yeah, that's a good start. Um, explore the house, yeah, let's do that. Okay, this looks sort of familiar, but not entirely. No, no, I think it's changed since the demo, actually. So let's see. Okay, explore the house. That's what we need to do. And this is the screen where we have a look at our collectibles, like tapes, documents, and notes. Good stuff. All right. Uh, I guess let's start with this photo. E? Or is it A? No, it's E. But, okay, that was weird. A um, little bit out of focus, but sure. That one as well? Yeah, okay. Hmm, yeah. Uh, do you have to double tap E? I don't know, maybe I just need to push it into the keyboard really hard. Maybe I've got a problem with my keyboard that I'm just now learning about, but yeah. Uh, picking stuff up does seem to be a little weird for some reason. Maybe you need to hold it down. Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Movement seems a uh, little clunky, maybe a little sort of stiff, in a way. But right, yeah, I don't want to get started on the wrong foot, you know, so. Light switch, okay, good start. What's this? Oh. Don't you think it's time, Tim? Don't you think there's something missing in our lives? I think we're ready. For what? A child? A pizza? Probably one of those. Um, yeah, sometimes holding down E works, sometimes double tapping it works. It's just a, a little bit of a problem either with the game or my keyboard. And I don't want to blame the game at the moment, frankly. Okay. I actually recall back in the Kickstarter demo picking up a shopping list. I don't know if it was exactly this, but yeah. It's just one of those weird things I remember from it. Sure. All right. Well, let's explore the rest of the house, shall we? Is this the... Well, I can't try and open it. Maybe this is the front door. What about over here? Uh, that door's locked. I need a key. All right. Nice fish. Um, let's have a look at the... Is that whiskey? I think it is. Top quality. A drunk. You want to be this? For the rest of your life? A fucking drunk, you useless piece of shit. Thanks. I love you too. Hmm, alright. Probably best leave that there. Hang on. Oh, we got a key! Okay, that's a good start. Right, well, uh, let's see what else I can find in the kitchen. Okay, there's a, a newspaper, news today. Uh, a mist. <laughs> a mystery never solved. Even after so many years from the chaos that happened in the sewers, the five missing workers are still not found. The investigators found many clues, which were opening new investigations, but unfortunately, the case still remains unsolved. Some of the evidence were point pointing out to a possible gas poisoning which happened at the bottom of the sewers. That solution was probably the most popular, but in the end, the new evidence declared that there was no sign of any gas pipes at the place of the accident. The missing workers were all together at the place of the accident. All five of them were close friends and have been working together for over 15 years. The families of the missing are still mad because there had been no answer of what happened with their beloved. Uh, the investigation has been opened many times and even with the newest modern technology, the mystery remains unsolved. The government is well aware of the situation and pronounced that the area of the accident will be restricted until a solution has been found. Okie dokie. Right, a few spelling errors here and there. What's this? Another shopping list? Okay, how many do you want? <laughs> Bite energy drink, I like it, yeah, alright. 
Yeah, uh, just have to spam the E key until I get away from that. That's not another one, is it? Uh, put the keys at some place where Lisa can't reach them. Thanks, okay. Lisa's my daughter, I take it? Sure, and that'll be me, right. Who's that? The weird red man in the sky, I guess. What about opening cupboards and drawers? Can we do that? Oh, there's a to-do list. I just like putting lists down, apparently. Um, okay. Sure. Are we outside? Oh, yeah. Hey, looks like someone had a party recently. What we got here? Is that fishing rod? Yep. So, Dad, are you ever going to take me to that fishing trip you promised? Or should I ask again next month? Maybe ask again next month. Yeah. So, I've got to wonder, why is the game called Wounded? Are we talking about emotionally wounded? Physically? Psychologically? Mentally? Probably one of those, right? Nice little fire pit. What's that over there? Okay, a crime news, my favourite newspaper. Let's see. A real massacre. After the examination of the crime scene, the police announced that a real horror has happened to the still unknown family. As they can confirm, a monstrous killer killed his own father and mother. The monster left an anonymous letter admitting that he is the one responsible for the massacre. By pointing the victims as mum and dad, the police officially point the son of the victims as their killers. Right. Uh, the bodies are still unrecognisable as their identity is still unknown uh, due to the skinless body they have, as the police says. Or said, I guess. Uh, further investigation will still undergo as this monstrous killer cannot remain in the shadows forever. His punishment will await at the court. Okay. I don't know. Maybe proofread this a little bit? Put it into Microsoft Word and see if you get any red squiggly lines, possibly. I will give them, uh, you know, a little bit of leeway because I think the developers are actually from Macedonia, so obviously not their first language. I mean, it's it's comprehensible at least. You can't leave now. You can at least be here on her birthday. Hmm. Daddy, Daddy, look what they bought me. She wants you here. Well, maybe I don't want to be here. Can I have a look at what they bought? Maybe I can have a look inside the presents? Or maybe I can't. Hmm, okay. And uh, a swing at the end of the garden. Alright. Can I? At least mow the lawn once in a while. You're home all day anyway. Right. Yeah, it does look like it needs doing, to be honest. Um, okay. Well, I, th I think I've explored the house fairly well. I've got this key, so I guess... Well, would that have to be... I guess that's going to be the bedroom. Something over here, maybe? We've got... Okay, yeah, we got some certificates, trophies and stuff. What's this? Winner, first place. Uh, Altana Dolphins. Right. <laughs> Water polo. Okay. Well, that actually might explain the photo that I picked up over there, right at the beginning in the menu. Right. I guess the keys to this door. It is. There you go. Alright. What's that? Is that a brace? Or a, a weird art fixture? I'm not sure. Either way, I can't pick it up. There's seriously something either odd with the game or my E key. Tim, unfortunately your injuries were too severe. We have to take you off the team. I mean, the least we can do is make you a trainer, right? Tim, come on. Come on, Tim, get back here. Hmm, okay. Anything else? I want to learn a little bit more about this guy. Can't wear the jacket. What about the other side? No? Nothing? Alright. What have we got over here? What are you working on? Alright. Ooh, the massacre, the Moran gang, nobody's talking. Evidence! Well, I have to take the job home sometimes, Tim. Killers never stop working, you know. Okay. Right, so uh, maybe I need to make some coffee and then come back to the evidence and really look it over. 
What's this? All right, okay. Department of, uh, I don't know, Macedonian police or something, possibly? I can't really read that, because there's that folder there. Top secret, gunshots, the motel monster, unknown hobo appearance. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, uh, I think I actually did see a pot of coffee or something over there, didn't I? That was a coffee maker. There you go. Beautiful. Right. Alright, maybe I should investigate the crow instead of the evidence. Seems kind of odd. You still around? Yeah, hang on, maybe you are. Is that you up there? Are you leading me to something? I've already had a look at the crime news story. Where'd he go? Is that a fire over there? Or a chimney? It's <laughs> well, I suppose both. Oh. Okay, well, yeah. Sit down with your coffee. Mull over what you've just explored. What does it all mean? Are you ever going to take me to that fishing trip you promised? Oh, help! Help! Someone help! help! I think it's safe to say at this point that he's psychologically and emotionally wounded. Right, okay, do you sort of doze off there? Ah, oh, it's probably cold by now. Actually, no, it's still steaming hot. Wait, did you just... Why are you telling me to run? Uh, maybe it's like tornado season or something? Let's get inside. Okay, hang on. There's a, <laughs> there's a crow on my TV. Did you turn it on as well? That's kind of impressive. What? Oh, <laughs> There's someone knocking at the door. Hello. Oh. But who's that? Who are you? Lisa? Cut. I think you should have got that leak sorted out. Uh, right. Okay. Sorry, how big was that fish tank? Okay, right, yeah, um... Could you be a dear and open the door for me? I can't seem to get the, the right prompt. Bloody hell, okay, um... Well, the fire's gone out, electricity, yeah, okay. At the very least, I've got some strong glass doors. Oh, fuck. Whoa, whoa. Lisa? Fucking hell. <laughs> You're just going to stand there and look at me? You're not going to help, right? I figured that wasn't a death, right? That's probably meant to happen. I hope so. I don't want to fail this early on.
Yeah, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Where am I exactly? This must be like a flashback to the, the boat capsizing or something, right? The fishing trip that went wrong? Stop moaning, you'll survive for now. Right, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a change of scenery. What we got? Some sort of beach, obviously. The big the big rock motel beach. Search for your daughter Lisa, okay. Haven't found any collectibles yet, so yeah. Uh, explore the house, done. Make coffee, done. Search for your daughter Lisa. Will do. I guess let's start over here. In, like, a little lifeguard's cabin or something, maybe. Okay, hang on. Maybe a couple of things? Is that a key ring? Oh, right, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that there. What's this, though? Oh, okay. Uh, hairpin? Lockpick? One of those. Yeah, alright. So we're gonna do, yeah, alright. Okay, well let's head inland and see if we can find our daughter. So yeah, as I recall, um, the demo at least, that there was some sort of level of threat. There is a reason I can run, I'm pretty sure. So I think in many ways this is going to be a survival horror game, not just purely a psychological one. Screwdriver? Oh, sorry, no, <laughs> it's not a lockpick, not a hairpin. Screwdriver. Oh, just, just about got the green area. Ooh. Oh, we have to start again. Okay. Wow, okay, this is tough. Ooh, just about, yeah, that was a, that was a pretty tough one. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. On certain things, pressing E is completely fine. So I, I think it might be the game and not the keyboard, to be honest. Just so you know, this wasn't in the demo whatsoever, by the way. Hello? Who are you? You're heavier than you look. Hmm. Like a flashback in, a flashback? <laughs> right. Well, I guess we're not going back. Anything over here? No notes? No more? Screwdrivers? No, nope. okay. I do love that sound effect. Right, the motel or the hotel. Find a way to turn the electricity on. Right. Well, to be honest, it looks like that's kind of covered. Unless this is like emergency lighting running off a generator. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> Always a fuse box. Right, so there's four of them. Uh, okay, this actually does seem kind of familiar. I've got to be honest. This might have been in the demo. Oh, there you go. There's one of the fuses. Hopefully it works. Holdy this time? Okay. Right, okay. I guess I'll come back here when i found all the fuses and I've put them in the slots. Hey, there's another one right there. Nice. Just one more to find. Can we open the bins and stuff? Don't think so. I think that's a door there. Oh, okay, yep. A uh, door to the void. Maybe let's not go through there. No flashlight, no lighter, nothing like that. No, okay. I suppose that's why I need to get the electricity on. Mm 
gate to something. Maybe the vehicle car park or something? Or... Actually, I feel that that might be over there. Right, well, let's, let's go up the uh, sort of fire escape, I guess. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. You know, despite some of the control errors and the spelling mistakes, I'm, uh, I'm having fun with this so far. Ah, there you go. There's the fourth one, balancing elegantly, not falling through and getting smashed. Can we go in? Oh, okay, the door's not... Okay, I need a key. Ah, uh, I guess I'll get that after I turn the electricity back on. Hmm, movement is just a little clunky, though. It's hard to, hard to describe. Okay, so let's maybe try flipping the switch. Okay, that kind of had the opposite effect. Oh no! <laughs> That's more like it. Okay. Hmm. There's the fish tank that started all this mess. Okay. Yep. Brilliant. Much better. Now I can see. Uh, Alright, so are we still looking for a key to get through there? Well, probably, right? Something is blocking the door. Hmm. Right. That's the key. That's got to be the key. Alright, so we need to somehow unblock the door. I don't really see what's blocking it. Hmm, okay, well, uh, let's just have a little look around the sort of car park area, shall we? Right, yeah. Yeah, this I'm fairly familiar with. Although it didn't look this good back in the demo. Alright, hang on, there's something down here. Wait. What's that? D whoa, whoa, what fucking... I don't know what that is, but there's something. <laughs> I think I'm safe. Anyway, yeah, uh, there's a cassette tape by the looks of it. Money doesn't matter anymore. Oh, it's escape to exit now, is it? Okay. It's ch changing up the control scheme. Right. Weird. Very weird. Maybe I should lift that up and see what's going on. Then again, maybe not. Okay, we've got something here. Pelican construction. Right. Um, pretty hefty prices. Hmm, alright. Supermarket over there? Yeah. And do we go? Always crows. Why are there always crows? Break through the door, right. Oh, damn. I should have tried that with the other one. What was this? Oh, okay, yeah. I... I recall picking up a crowbar in the demo. I guess that's going to unblock the door. Yeah. Either that or that's just how we get into the motel or the supermarket. Let's have a little look, shall we? So, uh, right, okay, so I'm actually collecting stuff now, so documents and tapes are being added to that. I suppose I can pull the boards off, can I? No, no, that's not what the crowbar's used for. Not this time. It's got to be to get into that office and get to that key, so let's give it a go. Okay, yep. And again. <laughs> sure. The three stages of breaking down a door with a crowbar. 
Right. We've got the key. That's a good start. Anything else around here? That's been destroyed. That hasn't, though. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I was going to get something finally at the end there, but no. Incomprehensible, I'm afraid. Okay, well, it's it's got to be that door up there, right? Huh. Yeah, alright. I don't want to have to use these stairs more than I need to, you know? Okay, so here we are. So, Lisa, are you around here somewhere? Not through there. Well, hang on, maybe. I need a key, though. What about this one? What about a light switch? Can you help me out here? Uh, that'll be a no. Alright, well, let's leave this alone until I find myself a flashlight or something. There's got to be something I can find. Something I can pick up. Right, what about this? Uh, something's blocking the door. Why didn't you bring the crowbar with you? Alright, well let's just stay on this floor for a little while longer before we go down. Make sure we're not missing anything up here. Oh, I can actually see. Now what's this? Pros and cons. Uh, there's too many squatters, I guess, for one man to handle. There are whole families living in here. Your favourite security guard, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Right. Oh! Okay, I thought I was going to find an item in here. But maybe someone else is going to find me in there. It's hiding. Maybe I should hide. <laughs> or maybe that was just some random sound effect, you know? Let's have a little look outside. Oof. So that's it. It's either in or out. There's no sort of peeking. Oof. Okay, sure. Bit of a leap of faith, really, if you want to come out and you don't know where the enemies are. Um... Hang on. Nothing? No? Damn. A lot of blood here. <laughs> Honestly. Ah, oh, finally. It's really difficult to get some items to work. Uh, I've been hearing strange noises recently. Yeah, me too. Uh, like someone is in big pain. Sometimes I can even hear crying and shouts coming from a distance. I don't know if someone's playing games with me because I'm not a huge fan of horror jokes. Well, don't worry, because I kind of am. Right. What about down the other end of the corridor? Looks like there's maybe one more room to have a look at. Yeah, room number two. Another squatter's paradise, I see. Can't get into the ensuite. Another place to hide, though, I suppose. Okay. Is it some sort of bizarre horror joke? I'm not even sure. I don't think so. I'm trying to work out if it's me breathing or if it's something very close to me also breathing. Someone's opening doors downstairs, I guess. Let's just... let's exit. Okay. What do we got here, then? Um, they don't go anywhere? What do they even eat? 
Your favourite security guard, Steve. Are you going to say that every single time? <laughs> Got a key, though. Right. That could be to one of the rooms on this floor. Probably worth a look, don't you think? Alright, so... Fuck. Go, go, go! Mm, let's try it. No, no, I, I guess that's the wrong key. Alright. And what was up with that door? It was blocked from the other side. I don't think I want to get in. Alright, here we go then. Ooh. A load more rooms to have a look at. How many floors did the motel have? Like three, maybe four? There could be like a basement and stuff as well, maybe a roof. Hmm, alright. Working elevators, so we're just using the stairs. Don't know where that door's opening. Maybe it's on this floor. Maybe it's below me. You know what? I might just leave you in suspense and end part one right here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I'm going to continue with this, but if you want to see it, let me know. And uh, yeah, maybe see you in a part two very soon. You useless piece of shit. Thanks. I love you too. A newspaper, news today. Uh, a mis a mystery never solved. No, oh, there's a to-do list. I just like putting lists down, apparently. I don't know, maybe proofread this a little bit? Put it into Microsoft Word and see if you get any red squiggly lines, possibly? What? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I cut. I think you should have got that leak sorted out. Whoa, whoa. Lisa? Fucking hell. I do love that sound effect. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> Always a fuse box. Let's maybe try flipping the switch. Okay, that kind of had the opposite effect. Oh no. Alright, hang on. There's something down here. But What's that? Whoa, whoa. Oh damn, I should have tried that with the other one. It's hiding. Maybe I should hide. <laughs> I don't know if someone's playing games with me because I'm not a huge fan of horror jokes. Well, don't worry, because I kind of am. Alright, so... Fuck. Go, go, go!